Dear seventh semester EC stream students, I welcome you all into my another video. Hope you are all doing well. So before starting the passing package for your second subject that is uh, optical and wireless communication, so let me know in the comment section first how was your first paper and how many marks you have attempted. So today I am with your second subject optical and wireless communication. Uh, 21 EC 72 is the subject code so you have still two days to prepare this particular subject let's discuss over here the super important questions for your each and every module so first of all uh, in the module first we have to explain the mode theory for circular waveguides discuss the differences between single mode and multi mode fibers with examples explain the causes and effects of scattering loss and bending loss write short notes on model delay group delay and material dispersion derive the expression for attenuation in optical fibers and explain its significance next one we have explained the structure of an optical fiber with a neat diagram discuss the fiber materials used in the construction of optical fibers so this uh, first module is the passing module as uh, you might have gone through these concepts in the first semester itself hope uh, this is the easy job for you students to cover 20 marks from this module first and as far as numericals are concerned you should focus on attenuation and uh, uh, solve problems related to group velocity and group delay and calculate attenuation in an optical fiber when input and output powers are given so as far as notes are concerned you can simply type on google 21 ec72 you will easily get the notes vtu cloud notes are available from where you can practice the varieties of problems right so coming to the model second we have here explained the structure and working principle of leds and derive an expression for quantum efficiency derive the rate equations for laser diodes and explain threshold conditions compare the working of pin photo detectors and avalanche for launch photo diodes define wdm and explain the role of fiber grating filters and diffraction gratings in dm systems write short notes on isolators and circulators dielectric thin film filters sixth one we have explained the working of a pin photo detector with a neat diagram explain the working of diffraction gratings with a neat diagram numerical problems prepare for efficiency wavelength threshold current and photo current related uh, problems right so these are the key topics on which you have to practice the problems okay you can also refer the notes for your reference next one we have module 3 explain the evolution of wireless network generations and compare 1g 2g 3g 4g and 5g wireless communications discuss the basic propagation mechanisms like reflection diffraction scattering with examples uh, next one we have super important one derive the expression for frequency reuse distance and explain its significance explain the concepts of cluster size and system capacity and how they are related define co-channel interference and discuss techniques to mitigate it write short notes on frequency reuse concept and cellular terminologies explain the cell structure and cluster and hence explain frequency reuse distance next one we have list and explain the types of small scale fadings so for problems you can refer VTU cloud nodes that, that are enough to cover the numerical portions. Next one we have module 4 to explain the working principle of FDMA, TDMA and CDMA with knee diagrams. Compare these FDMA, TDMA and CDMA in terms of spectrum efficiency and advantages. Write short notes on write short notes on spread spectrum techniques in cdma hybrid multiple axis techniques and next one we had discussed the role of smart antennas in sdma explain the structure of a basic cellular system and its connection to the pstn and describe the functions of the following parts of a cellular system that is a mob mobile station station and mobile switching center they discuss the concepts of frequency reuse and its importance in cellular systems so this is all about your module fourth now coming to the last fifth module explain the gsm network architecture with a neat diagram discuss the role of hlr vlr and msc in gsm networks describe the signaling protocol architecture of gsm write a short note on signaling system uh, number seven that is ss7 find and explain the significance of imsi tmsi and cgi explain the different types of control channels in gsm uh, describe the frame structure of gsm and the role of time slots in tdma and last two questions we are having explained the steps involved in a mobile oriented call setup write short notes on call forwarding call bearing short message services sms so these are all about super important questions of your second subject of seventh semester to remember the key points and try to understand the concepts very well so so seventh semester itself is a key semester to upgrade your cgp okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you